I am not a quitter. You ain't really think that, did ya? Hey guys, welcome back to Steadfast RC. So I was tagged in this thing that's going around where you show your first hobby grade RC that you ever got and tell a little bit about it. And I'd like to say thanks for Brent over at Adventure Time RC for tagging me. So here it is. The original first generation Traxxas Stampede. This wasn't my exact first truck because I sold that thing. I regret selling it, but this is uh, pretty much exactly what I had back in the day, right down to the silver body and the AM radio, of course. And this would have been, man, if I have to guess, it would have been like the year 2000. And this was my first hobby grade RC right here. Two wheel drive, first generation Traxxas Stampede. I still absolutely love this truck. I have three different variations of it now. I got the XL5, and I got another one that I've modded pretty heavily. But this one is uh, real close to what I had back in the day. Stock tires. Uh, basically everything on this is stock, except for the ESC and motor. This has a Duratrax IntelliSpeed ESC, which would have been correct for you know that time period. But um, I used to run the Traxxas XL7 ESC, pretty good ESC, and this has an axial 20-turn motor in it, which back in the day I would have had a Speed Gems 17-turn Topaz motor, which is a really cool motor. I really like that one. I wish you could still buy those today, but you can't. You can find them used, but they're pretty uh, heavily beat if you can find one. Of course, it's got the, the uh, AM receiver. The stock Traxxas receiver that you can change the crystals out on. For you guys that haven't been doing this too long, you probably don't even know about AM radio crystals, but that's what we had to deal with back in the day. You could run, um, I think there was four different variations of this, different body colors with different crystals back in the day. And you just pull out this on the back of the transmitter, switch a crystal out, switch a crystal out on your receiver, and then you could have you know, various cars running at the same time with minimal interference. There wasn't no interference, but it was pretty minimal. These are painted yellow. Um, that's not factory. Somebody did that, and I'd like to take this paint off at some point and just run them bare nylon, because that's the way my wheels were most of the time was bare nylon or the Traxxas chrome wheels. So, yeah. Um, what I remember about getting this, it was quite a while ago, but I was, I don't know, pretty young, and my brother was three years younger, and my parents went to Pacific Rim Hobby in Port Angeles, which is about yeah, about 50 miles from where I live, and it's still there. They uh, moved to a different location, Pacific Rim. It's an okay hobby shop, um, nothing real outstanding. I think the guys are more into like model trains and stuff, but they do sell some vehicles. They still sell some tracks and stuff to this day. But anyway, my parents um, got this for my brother and I to share, and they brought it home. And I remember just being like blown away by it because I had seen a Traxxas T Max like a month prior to this, and I didn't even know things like that existed. I was still running uh, like little Nyko RCs and stuff. I didn't I didn't even know hobby grade RCs existed until I seen a guy with a T Max one time, and it just totally blew my mind how much power it was and. I was just like really wanting one of those or something like it. So our parents um, went and got this for my brother and I to share. And I remember he was pretty little and I remember telling him, I don't know how old he even would have been. I don't know, around eight or 10 probably. But I remember telling him specifically, like I was worried he was going to break the transmission gears out of it. So I told him like, when you're going forward, don't just jam it into reverse, you know, and uh, strip the transmission gears for some reason that's, one thing that stands out in my mind is telling my brother about that. And it seemed like a really short period of time went by before my parents got another Traxxas Stampede for my brother. And it was the purple body version. And I had that too. I ended up with that after my brother didn't want it anymore. And I ended up selling that when I sold a lot of my RC stuff um, quite a while back, maybe 15 years ago or so. But anyway, yeah, that's how I ended up with it. My parents got it for me, and that introduced me to hobby-grade RC cars, and in particular, Traxxas, and that's why I have a um, certain liking for, for this vintage of Traxxas vehicles. I pretty much have the full collection by this point, the Rustler, the Bandit, the Stampede, the Emax, 
the four tech and basically the spirit is the only one i think i don't have and i'm not super into that one anyway but there it is guys and I'd like to say thanks again for brent for picking my channel to be tagged um brent's a really good buddy of mine we've been friends for years and my channel wouldn't be where it is without him today for sure he's a really good guy if you guys don't know about adventure time rc go check out his channel anyway thanks for watching guys i appreciate it and that's my video Oh, I gotta tag somebody. Um, I think I'm gonna tag Filthy Co. Unless somebody's already tagged him, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna tag Phil over at Filthy Co. I wanna know what his first RC, how he got into the hobby grade side of things. Probably pretty interesting. I think he used to race a lot and things like that. So, Phil, you're tagged. Yeah, if you guys don't know about Filthy Co. RC, go ahead and check him out. I'll try to link his and Brent's channel down below, but I tend to forget that a lot. So, if I forget, somebody remind me in the comments. Phil, I really like his channel. He does a different style of videos that a lot of other people don't do. He just does it with a GoPro on his head and just runs the cars and talks about them as he bashes them. And uh, he's actually, he's really knowledgeable in motors and electronic speed controllers and things like that. I ask him for advice on stuff like that um, from time to time. He's a really knowledgeable guy in the hobby. Been doing it for a long time. So check out his channel. And that's about all I got to say, guys.